another episode of What's in Our Freeze Dryer. So, if you watched our video on Friday, we were invited to collaborate in the Noodle November 2022. We made chicken, crock pot chicken and sausage Alfredo. We made enough to freeze dry. So, let's freeze dry some chicken Alfredo, chicken and sausage Alfredo. We're gonna reconstitute it and let my husband try it out. So, let's get to it. All right, Soil fam. So here we have um, chicken Alfredo. I made extra because I wanted to make sure I could put some away for a rainy day. So, um, I will link in the description. I'll, I'll link the video to our noodle November when we made this chicken Alfredo day before yesterday. But what I want to do is I just want to portion of I want to I want to make this in, I want to freeze dry it in portions. So I want to make sure that I have a portion size that will fit in each bag. So we're trying to store away a couple meals for my husband and I but we will reconstitute one of these so you can see how the chicken alfredo will reconstitute. So this here is enough for three meals. In my opinion, if you got in a bag, you can eat this, you know, whether you reconstitute it or not. You want to make sure you keep your body strong and fueled, and you need food for that. So this is three meals right here. The portion size are decent. If you know my husband is not a small guy, so he doesn't need a little baby size portion of food. So we're gonna do each tray this way. Even my trays will have a nice size because what I don't eat, he can eat. Or at least we'll have enough for anybody else. Somebody else needs something. So I'm just gonna put a decent amount, but not too much because I wanna make sure I get them good and dry. And you can honestly, you can reconstitute these right in the bag if need be. I say, if you don't have water, you know, for some odd reason, you don't have water to re or you don't want to use what you have left to reconstitute your food. The food is cooked. It'll just be crunchy. But if you need to eat it, you just eat it as it is. Well, we're going to show y'all what this chicken alfredo, and it has chicken and sausage in it, is like when it's reconstituted. I think these portion sizes are pretty good. So when you make enough, when you make a spaghetti or something, a meal, you want to make enough to where you can store some away too. As you know, noodles are not to be canned. So this is a great way to be able to store your spaghetti or pasta meal. Right, soil fam. So, our machine has been cooling for 15 minutes and it is ready. So, I'm just going to mash this down a little bit so it doesn't hit the top. Just like that. 
I load my trays in. Make sure it's flat enough. All right, one more tray. Right, so we're gonna close this up. I'm gonna make sure my drain valve is closed on the side. It continue. Let it work. We'll come back and check with this in a little while. All right, so first I am going to store <laughs> our um Alfredo in Mylar bag because we are putting these mills aside for the long haul. I'm gonna try to get two in each bag. Then we're gonna reconstitute some. Let's try this again. So, to make this easier, oh yeah. So I think two, which is, I think that's a, enough. This is a meal for my husband and I. Like one meal-ish. Or, which come to show, this could be a day meal for us because it's, I'm gonna put one oxygen absorber in these. And I am gonna seal it. I'm gonna make sure it's sealed good because this will go in our tote with long-term storage food. This will keep for up to 25 years. It is sealed, you can see the seal. I wrote today's date and chicken Alfredo, chicken and sausage Alfredo on the pack. So this is how I'll package. And we'll reconstitute some in a second. As soon as I get some of this stuff out of the way. I wanted to bring y'all in close because we're gonna reconstitute this chicken alfredo and talk a little bit. So, some I know some people have asked, do I prefer 
freeze drying over canning. Honestly, I do. I do worry about the um the temperature in the south. You know, if the power go, if the power go out here, it is extremely hot. So I worry about my canned goods. We don't have a cellar or we don't have a a basement, you know. So our canned goods will be sitting in in the um, heat for I don't know how long. So I worry about that. With freeze drying, I don't have that problem. This is is light, you know. It doesn't take up any space. And it's pasta in here. That's another big thing. My husband loves pasta. You can't can pasta. But you can freeze dry it. Plus 25 years, y'all. If you make sure your containers, your packages are sealed correctly, 25 years. Now, I will can some things. I will, because some things should be canned. But overall, freeze dry it. I will link our freeze dryer in the description so y'all can check it out. In the meanwhile, let's rehydrate or reconstitute this chicken alfredo. So, I do have sausage in here. I'm gonna show you so you can see this is sausage. I do have chicken in here. This is chicken. So I'm gonna make sure I um, link the video when I made the crock pot chicken and sausage alfredo. This is the chicken. These are the noodles. So let's get a little hot water and put it in. I'm getting, I'm gonna get some hot water. And I'm gonna get my husband. So let's see, I'm only gonna add a little bit at a time. And I probably need to let it sit for a few minutes so it can absorb this water. So I'm gonna stick something on top of it and let it sit a few minutes. That smells good. Hmm. But I need to give it some time because the sausage, but it smell good. The chicken is soft already, but okay. Let's be patient. I wanna find something for that. And let's let that sit for a few minutes and rehydrate. Alright, so yo fam, so let's check this out. I may or may not have added too much water. <laughs> yeah, I mean the sausage, that's what I mean. Uh oh. Sorry about that, soil fam. Apparently something occurred while my wife was filming the ending to this video. But it did reconstitute great. It tastes just like it did before she freeze dried it. So I was excited about that. So guys, um, like, share, subscribe. Hit that bell so you'll be notified whenever we release more videos. Guys, till the next time. Peace.